Hi, everybody. Uh, let's see. We're stuck on Trixie. Kim and Ruth and Lady Chickapoo. And I don't have my uh, deal with me, so let's see. I got a new mouse ordered because this drives me nuts. Linda P and Kim, hi. And who else? Michelle and Myra. Cinnamon, hi. All right. Well, Kent is not back from um, Salt Lake City yet, but we're going to BS for a little bit, I guess. Hi, buying space. Um, either that or I have got um, some guys and gals in with me tonight that are going to auction off some wonderful things. Derek, believe it or not, has some jewelry for you guys. <laughs> we saw it the other day, and there he is down there. You're not going to keep doing that to me, are you, Derek? <laughs> Please don't keep bopping out. <laughs> I hope not. It's just it's all of a sudden, just stream yard just says, eh, get out of here. <laughs> all right. And... Um, Gianna has some wonderful stuff, and um, I am going to sell some of my pottery uh, that is signed. Nice. I've got um, three Taos Pueblo. And I have got, uh, let's see, what was this one? Oh, yeah. One ute. And, Gianna, what did you say? This is a southern ute? Yep, that's southern ute. Nice. So, I love the, the colors in this one. I do, too. Mm -hmm. And, um... I have a few pieces and I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, I guess six. No, there's got to be, oh, seven, eight, uh, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine of my pieces tonight, guys. Woohoo! Nine. Nice. Yay! Nine pieces. Let's see if we can get that. Right. So, it's mainly going to be mine. And uh, hi, Leslie. Long time no see. Gianna and um, Derek. So, I want to show you one piece before we get started just to wet your whistle anybody out there like you tonight am i pronouncing it right vicky probably i'm not sure what you're trying to say <laughs> you tonight you tonight i don't know what you tonight is well, you recognize it, I think, when you see it, but probably. Uh, let me put this on here and switch over. Is it that pink and green jasper that you're talking about on the? Uh, yeah, but it's not jasper. It's euphonite. Um. Yeah, that's uh it I think that is a form of jasper. Very pretty. Very pretty. It's unikite, I think it's called. Oh unikite. Yeah, okay. Unikite. Yeah. Okay. But I think it's unikite jasper, isn't it, um, Vicky? I'm not really sure to be honest with you. It could be jasper, but I've just always called it unikite. I didn't know if Jasper came after it or not. But I've never beautiful. heard Jasper ask her it, but, you know. 
that's beautiful. It's just a really nice carved solid solid stone. Miss Vanessa would like for you to close the drapes. It's making a glare on everything, Miss Sandy. All right. Well, we're going to get out of here and we're going to somebody else anyway. So, oh, you hear that, Vanessa? <laughs> Let me see if I can get the drapes closed for Miss Vanessa. Uh, yeah, it's not usually this light at this time <laughs> since daylight saving. Is, is that enough? Or do I, yeah, I got to pull this one. That's all I got, Vanessa. There you go, honey. That'll just have to do, right? Well, what we can do okay. is we can turn this this way. And then we'll get the other window. I'll just get the heck out of here and let somebody else auction something out for a while. <laughs> I did, honey. I did scare off Darlene tonight. She went to bed sick early. Poor girl. And we have, uh, besides, um, oh, we lost, uh, now we lost Cindy. Cindy. Oh, Somebody's missing. <laughs> You're looking around like, who is it? Are you guys sorry thinking? about that? I hit the wrong button. I was trying to close some other windows and I hit the wrong tab. So besides um, Gianna and Derek, we have Ms. Trixie Monroe. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing tonight, this lovely night and day that we've had here that the God gave us today? How is that, huh? Everybody have a good day today? It was beautiful here in Tucson. I don't know about any place else. It was actually a little bit too hot. We had to uh, close the door and put the air conditioner on today. Can you believe that? Oh, my gosh. He's in the 90s in Tucson, 94 degrees. <laughs> little bit warm yeah all right well um and of course we have the sidekick of all sidekicks cindy to come <laughs> in and help us out we couldn't do it without her couldn't do it without her so guys be sure and don't block the driveway be careful of the deer um, I'm sure somebody will bring in the popcorn tonight. Uh, Ruth has the popcorn. Okay. Oh, hey, Ruth. And I don't know if Mama is going to uh, bartend again because she tends to cut me off. So I don't know. <laughs> and she tends to drink the customer's drinks if they don't get there on time. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know that. <laughs> yes, she did last week. Mm -hmm. She was having a good old time at the bar. <laughs> and... Uh, Remember, hot dogs will be served at the concession stand until nine o'clock tonight. Did she look like this after? That was a little bit. And I'm just saying, guys, I hope you have your depends on tonight because it might get a little warm. <laughs> this may be more entertainment than auction. We'll see. <laughs> we may never get to the auction. Oh, boy. So, um, uh, who wants to go first? Derek, do you want to get that thing out of there? Or I'm going to bump you out of here for real. <laughs> that thing ugly. He has some bulgy eyes on him. Yeah. <laughs> Remind me of my first husband. <laughs> I don't know why I got rid of him. Uh, Only your first husband? Only <laughs> really. Well, hi, there. Vermont Paint and Photos. Welcome. Hi, Bruce. 
All Hi, right, Dad. guys. Hi, Dad. Vintage oh, garage. Cam. Four drink minimum. Who Mom, said? Raven? Who said four drink minimum? I like the way you think, John. <laughs> I, uh, John. This is Trixie being couple oh, should start it. We'll go right here. Oh, there you God. go. That works. I'm going to have to nurse it. <laughs> <laughs> just put a nipple on it, honey. Just put a nipple on it. <laughs> Trixie, Susan wants to know how many drinks you've had so far. I have had none. <laughs> I have I've not been drinking anything. Look. Minnie Mouse has got my water right there. I would not go <laughs> for anything but ice water in mini cup, okay? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh dear. All right. Um, bring out some some Gria and they just I don't know, they just don't pay any attention to me. G, do you want to do one or two and then we'll switch over to Derek and do a couple and we'll just play it by ear? We can go however we, we need to go here. I, I think Derek's got his stuff set out right in front of him right there okay. already. So. Derek. All right. Is yeah, Sosa here yet? Come on, stay there. Stay, boo-boo. <laughs> All right, Derek, what do you got first for us? All right. Well, I have this silver and black 20-inch necklace. Ooh. Wow. Gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. It has a regular um, clasp, the lobster clasp. No markings on it. It looks like more costume, but it does not... Um, it magnet will not pick it up, so it could be just really old. It's, these are older custom costume jewelries. Um, most of the stuff was my mom's and my grandmother's. Um, selling all this stuff for my mom, guys. Um, my mom is uh, does have uh, bone cancer, so she's getting rid of a lot of her jewelry. So um, we're just trying to get rid of some of her jewelry. Next couple of weeks, we'll be doing more and more. So. But this piece is up here, guys. Like I said, it's 20 inch. It's really nice. Like I said, don't know much about jewelry, so I'm just gonna go with it. And if anybody and interested have no in marks. it? No, no markings at all. Lobster Are those stones out? acrylic, Derek? What is it? Are the stones in it? Do they feel cold on when you touch them to your face, or are they acrylic? No, they're acrylic. Okay. Yep. They're acrylic. All Beautiful. right. Where would you like to start that piece, Derek? Um, let's start it at ten dollars. All right. That's all my shipping is gonna be five dollars, guys. Shipping's gonna be five on all my jewelry tonight. All right. Anybody interested in this wonderful necklace at ten dollars? I think that's a bargain. That's a beautiful design. I yeah, might steal yeah. part of that. <laughs> it's gorgeous design, yes. And it looks like it's very yeah. well made, too. Yeah. Vicky is in at 10. Pretty heavy. It's, let's see. Weigh it too, so you guys can know. I do have a scale with me, gram scale. Okay. Uh, I think we need Derek to model that. I yeah. think so as well. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to put it on, Derek. <laughs> what are you laughing at, honey? <laughs> Forty-nine point forty-nine point nine grams. I won't get around my Not big neck. Marva. 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 It's got a great chain on it. I love yes, that it chain. Does. It's a nice chain. I love that chain. It looks like they took care of it. Whoever, your mother, you said, owned it. She took good my care of it. My mother and my grandmother, yes. They've, she always had 
nice stuff and she's been to italy and all across all around the world so she got she got good stuff when they went out when they were around he was a very sophisticated lady hey uh, yeah and an excellent cook so that's it guys y'all gonna let miss trixie steal that for ten dollars what's wrong with you all yeah, even though that's not marked, I can tell by the quality of it, it's it's worth more than ten dollars. Yes, it's still very nice. It's a very substantial <laughs> necklace, and I think it'll look gorgeous on this Trixie. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> Is that what you to do? Let you guys see that uh, Mr. Kent of Geezer Creek Farms has arisen. He is in the house. Okay. Yay, Mr. Kent. in the house, and you're on. I can see that. Hi, Kent. I was actually buttons okay. on that top you have on. <clears throat> <laughs> so there you go. So we'll get back to Derek here, and uh, where are we with the... Uh, we still have ten dollars with me. I oh goodness! All right. Anybody else interested? At ten dollars, going once. Great piece, guys. What I was missing, you know. Very nice piece. Marguerite, I have found a piece of opal for you. So we need to get together and take a look at it. I think you, it's what you wanted. <clears throat> nice. There you go. Very nice piece. All right, going twice. We're at ten dollars. Yeah, that almost looks like it could be silver plated. You don't have to write there. It, it, it wasn't picked up. It wasn't picked up by a by a magnet. So. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Roberta. I think yeah. they took yours and ate it. I Hi, Alan, Marguerite. All right. Fair warning, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't it though, Mama? And we've sold it to, I don't know whether it's Trixie or uh, Miss Trixie. I no. think the yeah, ask will say, I think that yeah, one went right. That is Miss Trixie. Well, right. let's see if you don't find out you're, selling, you're buying again tonight. Well, she still hasn't found out that I took some of her jewelry the other week, okay? I'm keeping that on the down low. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah. Won't hurt her. <clears throat> the next piece I have up is a um it's an older piece, it's at least 60 years old, because I know this my grandmother wore this. It's a scarf pin, which is three inches by two and a half inches. Oh gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Yeah. That's beautiful. You can see it's all hand done. The way that the, the work on this is amazing on how they did that with the great with the brazing and everything of that the true Cantonelli. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah. So Beautiful. I know my grandmother had this on when a lot of times when she would get dressed up. So no markings on it. But like I said, something this old, a lot of a lot of times they didn't mark it. Exactly. So. Did you test that for silver? He doesn't have. Uh, we'll I don't have the tester, but I did. Like I said, it wasn't picked up by a magnet, and so, and like I said, I tried as much as I could. Like I said, I'm not a jewelry person. I don't know without a lot of the beautiful. Um, what are you going to start this one out, honey? Twenty-five. Ooh, okay. This is really nice. It's really, really detailed. As each each edge has really oh, detail yeah. on the edge. Oh yeah, quite a bit of detail. Oh, oh, my, 
be this might be Victorian morning jewelry. I was wondering okay. that if it could be morning jewelry. That's what I was thinking as well. Yeah, it looks like it probably is. I'll look for her email. Thank you. Really nice to you, especially the old, like the way the clasp is put together. Okay. Miss Trixie started the bid. Hit 25. You can get up and down easier. Anybody interested? 25. We got, we got Miss Trixie at 425. <laughs> yeah, 425. <laughs> well, $125 for All right. <laughs> you come through the internet and put a hurting on you, honey. Is that stone in the middle? Does that feel like glass to you? It looks like it doesn't look to be acrylic. It looks like it, it looks could like be it. glass. Hold it to you. Yeah. See if it's is cold. it cold on your face, honey? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, so that looks like it's glass. Welcome to the jewelry world. You drop jewelry. Yay. And I would not be surprised if this piece didn't test positive for silver. This is a really great piece. Mm -hmm. I agree. Stunning. Fine workmanship of Cantonelli. That is for sure. Yep. Yes, the stone is black. So. All yes, right. I jewelry. Sorry, I hate to do this to you, Trixie, but I can't I can't stand it. <laughs> hurt me, hurt me, Sandy, hurt me. Amazing to see how well it's been taken care of. I yeah, know. You're, very, you're very, well. very good care of her piece. Yeah, she always did. Yep. And would you want the first ring of pearls? Oh, I just like. Oh, well, I mean, from you, but your I, from I will have to find a scar. I know it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, enough to make you want to go buy a scarf just to it. Yeah, I mean, I wish my, my mom kept a lot of the scarves. She liked the scarves because my mom, my grandmother, bought a ton of scarves when she was in Italy, Ooh, and nice. so. You know, yeah. you could technically use this as a pendant, girls. Turn it around for just a second and show the back. You could put a chain through one end of the bar going across and sure. use that bar as a bail and wear it as mm -hmm. a pendant. Yes, you can. Yeah. You oh, sure wow. could. Yeah. Roberta I just is like 30. I like the brazing on it. The brazing is like amazing. It's beautiful. Stunning workmanship. I see solder on the back, so this is probably a um, artisan made piece too. Right. Yeah. Like I said, it, she could have bought it when she went to Italy. A long time. I mean, she went in the sick in the seventies, and you know, even earlier than that, I think she went. I'm trying to remember because they used to go when my grandfather was stationed in Italy during World War Two. So. They would always go back and visit their, our relatives and stuff. So, but. yes, it would. Yeah. It would. The car lining. Yeah. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. So. Very unique piece. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think I. Seen anything Mr. like Boga it? Is at thirty, so I guess it's up to you or I, Cindy, to if we're going to go out or if we're going to do something about it. <laughs> I'm going to go out because I have a hard time bid bidding against either one of you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? Right right to me. No such problem. I know. <laughs> it's hard for me to take it from you or Ro. Look, Roberta's saying, is she really going to try to take that from me? <laughs> I am. Yeah. Trixie needs to build up her wardrobe and her jewelry wardrobe. That Vicky done kept me in the closet way too long. Well, that is a spectacular <laughs> piece. That's for sure. It sure is. Yeah. And old silver that like that tends to yellow. So test it when you get it. I'm curious to see if it is. I bet it is. 
I offered to test everything for him, but he did not trust me to send everything back, Cindy. <laughs> you it it too long. Don't blame you there, Derek. No, wait a minute. <laughs> not ever. Never mind. Don't don't answer that question. <laughs> Yeah. That's just a joke, Trix. I personally would have trouble sending it back to. Yes, yeah. beautiful. I mean, she's still waiting. She's still waiting for the package from my first auction with deals and deals. <laughs> <laughs> that big nativity set, I still haven't yeah. got it yet. <laughs> it's stuck in Colorado. Yes, it's stuck in the snow. That's a bummer. Well, hopefully you'll get it by Christmas. <laughs> yeah, they, they should get it. Get it, huh, Cindy? They're too busy acting. She got the she got the jewelry before she got that piece. I did. <laughs> uh oh! Now we got Sandy in on it. We got Sandy at thirty five, and Sandy. we're looking for thirty six on I this can't great. Give me like that, honey. You're just joining us. We believe this to be, it belonged to his grandmother and his mother. We believe it to be Victorian morning jewelry. Great piece of Cantonelle. Appears to be a um, faceted stone in the middle as opposed to glass or acrylic. Yeah. And you could wear this as a scarf clip or you could put a chain through there and wear it as a pendant. So gorgeous piece. And Miss Sandy is in at 35. Actually, you know what? I think Princess Casserole is in the chat. And if she's still in there, she knows this kind of stuff really well. So I'd like to get her opinion. If she's Princess Casserole. <laughs> but we are going once at 35 to Miss Sandy. Got Miss Sandy sneaking up on us. Hi, Thelma. How are you? Yes, she is, Thelma. Yeah, I'm in here, Thelma. It's going to be kind of an eclectic um, uh, auction tonight. We're going to have a little spattering of everything. Going two times. Nice, Denise. Denise said she got her ring in the mail today, Sandy, her your original Sandy piece. She was excited. She loves, loves, loves it. And it is not coming off her finger. <laughs> and look, Miss Raven is in the house. I saw her say that she had taken two Xanax so she might shop tonight. How about that? Okay, we're at fair warning, guys. Sandy's going to walk away with this beautiful piece for $35. My goodness. Oh, wow. Cool. We just got cookies delivered to us. I can't believe it. Nice. Let me what guess. Are they peanut butter? butter? No, they're not. What what kind are they, Kent? They look like chocolate, white chocolate chip, maybe. Chocolate white chocolate chip. Nice. Wow. That's good too. <laughs> Indeed. All right. We are sold to Miss Sandy for $35. Thank you, Sandy. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations, Sandy. I uh, think it's a really great piece, Sandy. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm gonna probably ask to borrow it from you. <laughs> borrow? Say no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe it. It's pick on Trixie night. I'm it sorry. It is. It is yep. on Trixie night. <laughs> hey, you right. all better be glad Miss Darlene didn't show up tonight because it was going to be over with tonight. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have to save it for another night. Next piece I have coming up is a 20-inch hammered necklace. Does that have uh, any uh, marks on it? No marks on it. It does have a barrel clasp. Okay. 
Huh? Oops. Oh, we're looking at Sandy. Did we lose Darren? Derek? Oh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Derek. Get your butt in here. The internet, I think, is patchy. I don't know where he lives, but he's, he's in Rhode Island. Up. He's up north. All right. So we're going to. There he is. All right, Derek. Hang on next yes, time, Derek. Don't fall out. <laughs> no kidding. No. There we go. So All there right. it is. It's the ham it's hammered. Okay. What uh, Derek, put your other hand behind it and so you can hold it steady in front of the camera. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank so you. There it is. There we yep. go. Now we can see it. All right. And where would you like to start this? Start this at 15. All right. Hi, Marianne. And Denise and Michelle. Anybody else? Lady Chickapoo. I'm Marianne. Yeah, I'm guessing by the style of this, this is probably an 80s piece. Yeah. Got a barrel clasp, too. So, very yep. pretty. Anybody interested at 15? This is Derek's mother's jewelry, and she mm -hmm. has developed uh, bone cancer, and so she's selling um, quite a bit of her jewelry. So right. this money will go back to her. This is not going to Derek tonight. No, it's not. I'm doing this for her so she can have. So. No, there, Nancy, no marks. there were no marks. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, Derek. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, there is no marks. I looked on the clasp. I looked everywhere. Just nothing stated. And I don't I don't know how to test stuff. And I'm not really a uh, a jewelry jewelry person. So I'm just doing this to help my mom. So you're a good boy, Derek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have a peanut gallery there. I know. That, that's Mrs. NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> and she would know. It's, yeah, she would know. Yeah. So, All right. Put so we'll that one aside and we'll bring it up again. Yeah, um, wait, 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 wait a minute. Tricky did 15. Oh, goodness. Really? <laughs> Miss Trixie? Yes. Okay. I didn't Sorry, see it. I, I did. I saw okay. it. You guys were just talking. I didn't want to interrupt. But yeah, yeah, Trixie went 15 at, let's see, what is the 35. mark? 8.35. Yeah. Okay. Well, forgive me, Miss Trixie. It's okay, honey. I love you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I like the look right. of the Anybody else want to come in on this necklace for 16? Oh, Marianne, I am so sorry. Uh, I knew that, but I never think about it because you're always so positive. You are, right. honey. God bless you. Keep you in my prayers. Absolutely. All right, going once. Anybody else want to come in on this? And then I think I'm going to jump in and maybe do a couple and we'll just go around the horn a little bit here. There you go. We'll go ring around the circle. We'll go ring around Sandy's yard. Yeah. <laughs> Pop those and play with the deer and the antelope. Absolutely. Absolutely. All and right. Play. I've got some uh, signed pottery coming up. 
Oh, very nice. Yep. And um, quite a few pieces that I've made. You have been very busy this week. Yeah. So we got all sorts of things. And then we've got Gianna also with uh, some wonderful things. So fair warning, ladies and gentlemen. And we have sold it to Trixie for 15. Yay! Thanks. Thank you, Trixie. Okay. Me, 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 me. <laughs> wow. How about that? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me get some light on here. And then oh. we'll get over on the other camera. Miss Marianne says, it's okay. The cancer has to keep up with her. Right now, though, I'm like a long-tailed cat in a room full of rockers. <laughs> get out. Okay. Let me measure the length on this thing, because I'm sure somebody is going to ask me. I did have a... It's a beautiful piece of unikite. It has a lot of pink in it, which you don't always see that much pink. That is no. right. They're mostly it's on a 22 inch um, necklace with uh, beads. The beads are all the way around. Let me show you here that the beads are all the way around. Nice. And um, what are we going to do? Are we going to do a reverse auction, guys? I think maybe. Why doesn't that show up the color that it is? Because the light. I think the light. Tip it a little forward. Early well, I am. You can see the color earlier. Well, the, the sun's going down, so let me see if I get this. Why isn't that going now? Hang on a second. Uh, we'll pull this one over. Look at you, Miss Marianne. She says she's learning to tell people to get out. Go. That's great, right there, Sandy. How about that? Yes. Oh, very nice, right there. Okay. I've only got five lights, so <laughs> figure out which one does the right right deal on it want to get warm up in there yeah so let's do a reverse auction you guys remember how to do that i'm going to start out at a high price and start knocking down the price when you get to a price that uh, you want to pay for it go ahead and put want in the chat and don't wait too long because somebody else might get in there in front of you for sure so that, I will start this out at 60. Is that gold and silver tone on the metal? Um, yes, it is. All right. Awesome. Beautiful. The, the two little ones are silver and the one in the middle is gold tone. Very pretty. It is. Looks like some pretty skilled carving. It's nice. Oh, it does. You know, it's uh, very exquisite piece i mean the carving on it is top notch very good i want uh 57 for it and it does look like some good quality unikite too well like you said you don't see much of the orange or pink you know exactly yeah exactly and every all the beads have quite a bit of it in it I looked it up. It does fall into the Jasper family. Okay, that's good to know. I want uh, 55 for it. Do, 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 do. I want 53 for it. I personally think that Jasper is some of the 
prettiest stones out there. It's just so such a wide range of types of jasper, and and they're just gorgeous. Well, look at that kaleidoscope jasper. I mean, yes, yeah. it's like amazing. Very nice. I want uh, fifty one. How long did you say this necklace was? 22. Oh, wow. That's a lot yeah. of Jasper. That is a pretty long necklace. That's a lot of carrots of Jasper there. That's for sure. I want 49. Well, welcome back, Ruth. We missed the popcorn. Hello. <laughs> All right, there? guys. <laughs> I want forty-seven. Where's the popcorn? Yay! Yay popcorn's coming. We do have cookies over here, though. If anybody wants any. <laughs> Hi, Blandine. How are you? I want 45. And hello, Other Mary. I'm I need to assign all of you Marys a number. We have so many Marys. Mary's a bit beautiful name. It's yeah, a, yes, husband. it's a very it classic. It is a very beautiful name classic name my my um granddaughter is Marianne I want 44 we don't just have Marys we have Mary Pelletia we have Mary Swanson and we have Mara Ann Swanson. There's the confusion. There's where the confusion lies. <laughs> you I think so, Miss Trixie? All the time. I don't even know <laughs> who I'm talking to half the time when I'm talking to one of them. <laughs> I want 41. Oh, Marianne, she got a hankering for rupia. She says she's Scottish. Her name is a Scottish one. I want 39. Guess them we're probably getting close to our bottom line on this one. And there she is. Hi, Marianne. Oh, no, that's Blandine. <laughs> I yeah. saw the hi, Marianne, and thought it was her for a second. You uh, you put her up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I Can't saw that real quick. computer again. <laughs> we are twins from another mother. She's the evil one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're too funny, child. I want 36. Oops, sorry, I was a little slow on that one. I thought I had it in the line when I was typing, and I did not. <laughs> All right, I want 33. That's a good price, guys. It's a very good price. Look at all that unicot. Now, you guys stay on your toes because you never know when I'm going to do a want piece again, like oh I did last week. Oh, my. Remember that, girls? I want uh, 30. Yeah, I want 30.
Yes, I get that, Marianne. I have that problem at work. Like somebody will call and I'll pick up the phone and they'll start talking to me. And it's like, what are you talking about? Well, isn't this Cindy? Yes. <laughs> you will. Yeah. Yeah. And then it takes a while. We've got Raven want at 30. Oh, Raven got it. Nice. Right. Congrats, Thanks, Raven. Raven. You are going to love that, Miss Raven. It's pretty. Nice and heavy, too. Okay. All right. Uh, how about one of my pieces? Yeah. Just gonna, we're just going to switch it all up tonight, guys. We'll just keep you on your toes. Congratulations, Miss uh, Raven. This is a little heart that. Uh, with a piece of coral in it. It's on a 18 inch chain. And I want 80 for it. This is my piece. It is signed. Well, very cute with that little heart in there, that little coral. It is signed there. I want uh, 77. I like those double numbers. Who was that? that a lady the other day that was born January that was 1st, 2001? I want 75. Is somebody going to come in before it gets to the number that you want? I know, right? Suspense, suspense. Were you able to get the tippy shots? No, because by the time I got to see me, they were close, but oh, okay. we'll do a big trip over there tomorrow. I want... 73. Is anybody awake out there? Nobody's I even awake to see who jumped in and gets it. <laughs> They they all fell asleep at once. I'm still hey, waiting. Maybe I'm a, a Houdini thing. A, a what is it? Hypnotist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, Lady Chickapoo's got coffee for all of you out there. Ooh, and that oh, looks like good too. coffee too. All right. Thank you. Wake everybody up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I want 70. Who is going to come in and get it? Who is going to snatch it? Don't forget now there is a bottom line too. Exactly. And you got to hope that you get to your number before she gets to hers. I want 
Will it last one more number? Will it or won't it? Will somebody come in before you? <laughs> oh my gosh. It That's almost good. reminds me of a star of David. It's got a great shape. Hi, Silver Hair. How are you? Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. I want 65. Good evening, Silver Stacker, Silver Hair Stacker. We are doing a reverse auction at the moment. Almost perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, if you're just joining us, um, the bid right now, well, actually not the bid, but we're doing a reverse auction. Right now we're at 65. When it gets to a price that you feel is worth, then you type in want, and you just have to hope nobody beats you to it because the first want we see gets it. And this is an original handmade, handcrafted piece by Sandy, signed on the back. And you said that is... Um, the stone is um coral coral it looks to be undyed from the color i could not guarantee that but i believe so can you borrow that <laughs> no honey but i'll sure sell it to you <laughs> i want 63 You're golden going on Medicare. So he's golden. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Our golden years are not what they're supposed to be. And Mama would like to uh, send you whoever wins her this address. Character. Her address. <laughs> and I want 60, take it or leave it. That's it. Bottom line. Bottom line. We have bottomed out. I just you have to reach my She's list. not here tonight, is she? Who? She must still be at work. Who? So she, so so she, so she, she has not made it yet. All right, we got no takers. Nobody. Um, actually, Sosie's here and she wants it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you must have heard us talking about you, Sosie. We talked her right up. All yes, we right. did. That Thank was weird. She popped into my head just at that moment, too. Thank you, Sosie. There's our Sosie. Yep. All right, what should we do? Next, next, we have got a bracelet that that light is going to be too much for it. I just have to keep, keep switching lights, guys. Oh, my. How about that? Is that going to? Nice bracelet. Nice. I can see yeah. your reflection uh, in that, Sandy. Say what? I can see your reflection in that bracelet. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Look at that. She's playing with us now. Yep. It is uh, engraved. Beautiful engraving. Yes, very pretty. And let's see. We've got a mark. Where did I see the mark? There's there it the mark. is. All right. Let's see. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Oh, that's big enough to read, isn't it? Yes, it is. It says stone soldier oh, upside down. <laughs> it looks like it's it stand on your head. That's all. 
Ah. Now, if my hands will work, we'll uh, be in tall cotton here. Sterling, I see it right there. And I don't know what that hallmark is. It looks like it does have a little bit of a dent right there, guys. Little bit of an owie. They could probably pound that out, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a character builder. Yeah. So I want 65. Reverse again? Yes. The best is yet to come. What are you doing, Mom? <laughs> I told you she's playing with us now. We did see the red solo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Clear as day. <laughs> Uh, where the heck are we? <laughs> I forgot now. We started at 65. I want uh, 63. You can't hardly see the etching on it with it reflecting. I know. It. Got to look really hard. Really? That's what I see. Oh, okay. It really is nice etching. A lot of time it's not etched that deeply. So the pattern is very easy, but this was nice etching. I want 60. It's not a heavy bracelet. It's real light. But other than that one little goober there, well, it's got a little goober right there, too. Stop looking. Oh. <laughs> well, I want to be honest with you guys. It's you know, beautiful. I don't want you guys to get it home and then go, oh, it's got goobers all over it, and Sandy didn't tell us. <laughs> Those are character marks. That's what um, I said. They're character building. I'm sorry, Ruth. I know everybody's having that trouble. I am really having that trouble. Um, not too bad, but tonight, but the last couple of auctions I was in, I was having that same trouble. So I think it's just because so many people are online on YouTube I want and using fire. Beautiful. Mm, mm. I want 55. He jumped down a whole five dollars on that one, guys. How many inches wide is that? Like two, two and a half, two maybe? Uh, let's see. It looks pretty wide. Yeah, it looks like a nice width on it. Mm -hmm. Two and a oh, half. We're talking about across the list. And the the width of the actual bracelet. It's two and a half. No, no, I mean up and down on the band. You mean across. this way? Yeah, That's across, I guess. Up and down? <laughs> across, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. A little less than an inch. Inch, okay. Good size, guys. Nice wide band do that oh yes you can see the etching better on there now they're pretty yeah the etching is very nice it is your <laughs> fingers <laughs> Are you annoyed, Sandy? Not yet. You're playing. You're playing. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I'll 
will stay 50. out of your way. <laughs> I want 50. Bam, just dropped another $5. Mm. Somebody better snatch it. <laughs> so he says, oh, sounds like a challenge. <laughs> I know, right? I want 45. Um, Silver here wants to know how many grams. Oh, it's not much. It's real light, uh, Glenn. But it's beautiful. Not much at all. And you can even have it monogrammed. 17.5. Now that's not too bad. Yeah. I don't think that's too shabby. I want 40. All right, Ruth, I will. Would somebody like to give Miss Trixie a sangria? Oh, you the bar? Bar. Tell the bartender to put it on my tab. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Sweet Lady Chickapoo fixed it for you. Miss Trixie is going out to get a drink. I'll be back. I want 35, take it or leave of it. Bottom line. Speak <clears> now <throat> or forever hold your peace. Is that a dry martini, Ruth? I see an olive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's Lady Chickapoo. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I got signed by A. Vargas of Taos, Pueblo, 2010. <laughs> Wow. And it measures about three and a half inches. Nice. And I'm just going to like, I'm just going to let you guys regular bid on this. We're going to start it out at 20. Isn't red a hard color to fire, Gianna? Yes, it is. That's a really good price on that. For a signed piece of pottery? Yeah. From Taos Pueblo? I've got a couple pieces that are signed in Navajo on the bottom, G. I'll have to send you the name to see if you recognize them. Buddy, knock it off. Okay. Good night, Mr. Vermont. Good night, Bruce. We got Sosie coming in at 22. Oh, my, that's pretty. What see. did you say the artist's name was? A. Vargas. A. His name is actually Vargo. Vargo. Augustus, Vargo. Augustus Vargo. Augustus Vargo? Augustin. Augustus. Varos. V -A -R -O -S. Varos. Nice. Uh, Amanda, we're doing this a regular... Um, a regular auction. I know I'm I'm doing this just to mess with you guys, but this is a regular auction. So 
we're at 22. You need to bid higher than 22 on this. I'm sorry to confuse you guys, but got to keep you on your toes. Looks like it's Mike, Micah Clay Pottery. And there's actually a video on this maker. Really? Yeah. Um, this yeah. This pottery was actually known as Storyteller Pottery. Nice. Does it have a little sparkle to the surface, Sandy? Um no no you don't see any at all no okay no then it may not be the mica it's just by that same artist but that artist um seems to be pretty famous so very nice and i think it's all one word it's the avarus a-v-a-r-o-s instead of an initial no it's an initial Augusta no, is it's his definitely name. an initial because he's got a dot after it. Yeah, dot after okay. it. Let me uh, back up then. Where's the bid at right now? 24. 24. Okay. Who won the silver cup? Cash. Who? Miss Sandy, who won yes. the silver cup? The silver cup. The silver cuff. The one nobody. When nobody. I was no one. Oh. Okay. Well, Miss Amanda Salazar says she wants the silver cuff. Oh. Well, we will sell it to her. At we were at. What were we at? Thirty or thirty-five? Thirty-five. All righty. Thank you, Amanda. Oh my. So she's in at 30? She is. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Robert. Hi, Robert. Hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. Gianna, refresh. You have a lag. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sitting here fiddling around with something else, and I was like, oh, they're saying hi to Robert. I better say hi. <laughs> Oh, dear. All right. We are at 30. Going once. You have two of these potteries, right, Miss Sandy? Uh, I have three of these. Oh, okay. Good for us. I have three of these and then one ute potter. He is watching a movie, I believe. A fine bad day at Black Rock here. <laughs> All right, going twice to Sosi at 30. Dang, some of that pottery can get pretty pricey. It sure can. It is. Yeah, yeah three, four hundred and up. Yeah, so she's getting a deal on this. And that's the people that are still alive, pretty much. Fair warning. 
just stick a, a note in this who uh, who's buying it. And we've sold it to Sosi for 30. Thank you, Sosi. All right. We have got a quail. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my. And this is by the same artist. Oh, that looks like a set. So see, it sure does. Dang it, so she said, dang it. <laughs> We're going to start this one out at 20 also. Um, did you leave one in the chat, Amanda? I think she's lagging really, really bad. She was the one who said that she wanted the cuff. Yes. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the message she's asking about. Yeah, I think she saw that you wanted the cuff. I think she puts her name on it. Yep, it's tucked away for Amanda. <laughs> So she just went to 30 right away. <laughs> wow. Well, she has no choice now. It seems to be a match set. So, <laughs> yeah. okay, I can't take a match set from you. So I'm I going to go out. I was going to try, but I'm not going to. It's a match set. Yeah. That's all right. We got one more. <laughs> That'd be like someone getting Sandy without me. <laughs> yeah, really. All right. We're going once to Sosi at 30. Do you guys mind that we're bringing you other things other than jewelry tonight? I don't mind. How about the rest of you? Actually, my husband will probably hurt me if I bring one more knickknack into the house. <laughs> oh, my. That's right. You just brought a couple of boxes of glass figures. You, yeah. you, you uh, can probably say he's not thrilled about that. <laughs> Going twice to Sosi. Fair warning. And we've sold it to Sosi. Congrats, Sosi. Great. Yes, congratulations, honey. We have one more. Maybe you can get this one. One more quail. Oh my gosh, that looks like it matches too. They all look mm -hmm. like they match together. This is a good color. Color. I love the colors in it. I know. That terracotta and the turquoise colors look fabulous together. Where are you starting? 20. <laughs> so simple. Good grief. I know quail tastes great. He loves that you are bringing in other things. <laughs> And Sosie says, you are killing her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Robert came in 20. So did Cindy. Uh, oh, okay. I thought she, uh, she sure did. <laughs> Just no three of them. How'd they know that was coming? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are at 30. Anybody want to go higher than 30? <laughs> and it looks like Robert's at 31. 
Okay, I'm gonna let Robert and Sosie battle that one out. Oh my, yes. I have one more from a Ute. Ooh, a Ute. Always reminds me of my cousin Vinny. Vinny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say Ute? What Ute? I'm a Ute. <laughs> I used to be a Ute. <laughs> the three Utes in question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she says, you don't have any more, do you, Sandy? <laughs> oh, wow. The Ute pottery is really nice. All right. We're going with one. Sosie at 35. You did wonderful this evening, Miss Sosie. Did you say going once, Sandy? Yes. Oh, Robert goes, I used to be a youth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, he said it right, didn't he? Yep. And we are going twice to Sosi. Fair warning. You out, Robert? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, Miss Sosie. And we have sold it to Sosie for 35. Thank you, Sosie. All right, guys, one more. And this one is a D weeks and he is a Ute. And Gianna said that he was a Southern Ute. Do you usually have pottery to sell, Miss Sandy? No. Do you usually, can you find these kind of pieces easily, I guess I'm saying? Oh, I used to when I was in Albuquerque. Ah, okay. You should be able to find it down your way, Miss Trixie. Yeah, Tucson should be a hotbed of it. Well, Tucson is um, a hotbed of quarantine right now, so... Um... <laughs> There probably is some to be found for sure. I'm going to start this at 20 also. Very pretty. Yes, so to breathe. <laughs> yes. Is the white design on the bottom, is that carved out, Sandy? Yes. Oh. I couldn't even see that. Okay. Gosh. The Navajo stuff I have is really hard to like that too, but I see that when I looked up the Ute on a lot of the Ute stuff is carved that way. Very nice. Deanna says this one's coming home to mama. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I guess Miss Trixie will have to look for some pottery for her trailer. Actually, it's not her trailer. It's Vicky, but she's going to take over. Well, if you're good, I've got some Navajo <laughs> pieces I just might give to you. Do you really? I do. Wow. I've got one piece. Yes, I, I agree, know. Lady Chickapoo. Great colors in that. It is gorgeous. These are the colors of spring. Okay. What I've noticed is it never, when you pick it up, it doesn't feel as heavy as you think it should. Yes. So when you pick that up, 
turn it over and look on the bottom if it feels really light because it might be native pottery. <laughs> Gianna, are you ready after this one? Yes, I'm ready. Okie dokie. We'll put you up then. We'll put you in the hot. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Are you out, Robert? No stuffing Vicky in the closet anymore, Trixie. I don't stuff her in the closet. She goes out and plays with the babies. <laughs> Vanessa, hurry. <laughs> But she sure don't mind sticking me in the closet. Okay, so Robert's <laughs> out. So going once. Hey, Vanessa, it's good to see you. Well, hi, Miss Vanessa. Oh, I think you gals are going to like what's coming up next. Well, 35 to Diana, looking for 36. Anybody else interested? We're going to go twice on that. All right, Robert, we'd love to see it. Robert said he used to do ceramics. Oh, yeah. Great colors, guys. Beautiful colors. Go ahead and sell it. All right. Sold to Gianna. 35. Great buy, Gianna. Congratulations, honey. Now the challenge comes in packing them, Sandy. <laughs> yes, I know. That's up to Kent. Well, Kent, what I have discovered is you go pack book, it, make sure that nothing, none of the glass or the ceramic is touching each other and make sure there's plenty of padding between the piece and the box that it's not touching the box anywhere. You just got to pad the heck of it between the box and bubble wrap doesn't work. You have to use paper like newspaper or that brown or white paper, you have to really, though, pack the heck out of it. Goodness. I'm just going to cut well blubber out and shove it in that. Okay, <laughs> that'll work, too. It might be heavy, but it'll work. Did he say well blubber? <laughs> yeah, I tried bubble wrap, Marianne, and it really doesn't work that well. You're better off with paper as long as you don't have the piece actually touching the box itself. So that the okay. box gets bumped, it's not directly bumped. We might be able to find some paper around yeah, here. We've got some good paper, I think we can put it in. Angel lost her toes. <laughs> 35. Oh, yeah. Nice, Sandy. Okay. This is Gianna, not Sandy. Oh, Gianna, <laughs> sorry. That's good. But I've got this beautiful 1950s Whiting and Davis coin purse. And I don't know if you can see the, come on, is this little girl going in? There's the Whiting and Davis right there. And there's the number that goes with it. Is it gonna it's focus? in really good shape. It yeah. is in really good shape. Um, and I... I don't know. Should I go reverse or should I go forward? <laughs> you do anything you want to, honey. Well, I guess I'll go forward on this one. I'm starting her out at 20. I've looked up, looked her up and seen that she can go for a lot more than that, at least twice that price. Your angel lost its toes? Oh, no. And Maybe if you're we're a reseller, Whiting and Davis sells really quickly when you list it. Do we need to send you another angel, uh, Robert? 
I'm sorry that happened. Okay, let's send you another one. Put it on there that we owe Robert one of those angels. The toes broke off. Okay, we've got Mary Swanson in at 20. You hear little whisper voices. Um, we are looking for 21, guys. That is a really good price. As I said, if you are a re if you're a collector, it's an amazing price too. If you're a reseller, there's plenty of room left. And it sells very quickly when you list it. So that's a plus also. It doesn't sit there. A lot of uh, Whiting and Davis collectors out there. Going one time at 20 to Mary. We need 21. We are whispering away back there. <laughs> That's my granddaughter. You can double your money on this one. Yes, double sir. your money, double your fun. Would you call that a change purse? Yes, yeah. it's a coin purse. It yeah. is a little coin purse, and it is just, it's really nice. It's still put together well on the inside. Looks brand new. My grandma used to have one of those, and it was a little bit deeper, and she used to keep her cigarettes in it. <laughs> Of course she did. She did. <laughs> Along with her bus money. Very pretty. So Mary Swanson has the bid right now? Yep. Yes. Goodness, so, is that, that, is that funny? She is a lucky lady. Nobody wants that purse except Mary. That goodness, I thought that they'd be fighting over that one. I thought yeah, they would but... too. Hi, Lynn. The thing with this one is that it's in such good condition. I see some listed for double the price that we're at now, but they're not all in this good a condition. They're pitiful looking, aren't they? Okay. A lot of times that uh, frame around the um purse is very discolored but this one doesn't look discolored at all which is very good for the 50s hi perlini okay raven would like to know how big it is okay here we go there's your depth it's three about inches. two and three quarters in depth the widest part is about it's about four and a half. That's funny, Susan, like Ma and Pa Kettle, huh? Yes, Thelma, it's Whiting and Davis. Yes, Thelma, it is Whiting and Davis. Let me see if I can get that focus in there. Ooh, focus, little girl. Ooh. How do I do this again? It is 1950s. We have Raven coming in at 21, looking for 22. Uh, going out. Out of frame. Yeah. You ribbed him on, Paul Pedal. <laughs> okay. We got Mary Swanson coming back at 22. Mm -hmm. 
She will not be denied. She is wanting that little change purse. We have Raven at 23. You go, Raven. Well, that's one thing you got to remember when you buy these things online, you're most likely going to pay some shipping too. So Raven is out. We have Mary at 25. So we're going one time at 25. And some of those things like Poshmark and stuff, their uh, shipping is high. They're high. All right. We are going two times at 25 to Mary Swanson. We are looking for 26. Fair warning. I'll let you take back over, Sandy. Let me know when you get tired. Okay. Anybody else? We are at 25. We have sold it. Mary Swanson, $25. Thank you, Mary. Congratulations, honey. Okay, the next piece I have is the piece that I made. Oh my. And it has a matching pair of earrings. Oh, I love those earrings. Oh my, Gianna, that is gorgeous. The hooks now, that are earring and a hair clip. <laughs> the hooks oh, on the earrings are 925. Wow. Here's the back of the barrette. <clears throat> nice. And I'm starting her out at 80. We're talking museum quality pieces here. Remember, exactly. she made all the regalia for a movie. So that tells you something right there. What movie, honey? I want to watch it. I, I can't. I signed a disclosure. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Once it comes out, you can let us know then, right? I can let you know when the regalia is going to be shown in a TV show because the okay. show was canceled. Aw. Mary is in at 80. Yeah, so this lady is no joke is my point. Her stuff is uh, top of the line. We're at 80. Anybody want to go 85? The colors are just fantastic. Yes, they this. are. The name of the main color is known as grape purple. Not great, but grape as in the fruit. I love that style of earrings. They're fantastic. I do too. Now, you do send a card, right, still, Gianna, that yes, authenticates your send, work? Yes, I still send a card with my beadwork. Gorgeous. I think it's because you were sitting for so long. So she's in at 85. Thank you, ladies.
Oh, that's sweet. Mary's in at 90. And the great thing about that, that story, too, is they came to Gianna. They looked for her. I knew there was something going on. I just didn't know what was going on. Well, if y'all remember last fall, I disappeared for almost. Yes, you did. Yes, and I could not tell anybody. and It was killing me because it's like, oh, y'all have no idea how much her stuff is actually worth. Gorgeous. We are at 95 to Sosi. And I still don't know who the movie is either. <laughs> so I'll find out when y'all do. <laughs> Oh, Miss Mara. Now, Gianna, you learned from your mother and grandmother, right? And and they have museum pieces. I learned from my mother and my great aunt. My great aunt is the one who has the museum pieces. Nice. Which in one hundred. Which in the native way, um, our great aunts are our grandmothers. We have we don't do you know like great aunt or once removed or anything like that we we just call each other cousins after a while <laughs> Hi, <cut. laughs> all right so sosi is out we're going once to marry <clears throat> I can still never find these intentional mistakes that you put in. <laughs> Neither can I. I look and I can't find them. <laughs> no, if I look every time and I can't find it, it's very well hidden. And we are going twice to Mary. Good on you, Mary. Those colors. Fair just warning. Yeah, And those we are the earth? to Mary for a hundred dollars. Nice buy, Mary. Those are the earth That's colors you said, Mary. or the those fire colors. colors. Fire colors. Okay. I'm gonna put two rings together here if I can remember where I put them. Oh my rings. One is a dime a dimonique. There it is. It's got Nell and CZs as QVC. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't Diamondica QVC brand? Yes. It's a size nine. And then I am putting this jadeite, purple jadeite, sterling silver. I do not know what the stones really oh, are in there. With this beautiful piece here. Well, the jadeite's going to make it. They're both size eights. And I'm starting them both out at 50. Wow. Very pretty. I love that purple jade one. That's a good price. That uh, diamond ink ring on QVC would have sold for much more than that. Oh, by nice. Itself. oh nice, Perlini. Isn't that, is that, isn't Diamondique like their own, like, for, yes, they are. For, yes, it's their version of the diamond. Yeah. It does have 925 marked right in here. I don't know how mom does it to get everybody to see it in there. Or the black diamond too. 
It is a spinel and um, nice. nice. Very pretty. I can't make out the little maker stamp in there. It sits right there. But on the other side, it does say 925. Okay, we'll talk with you about that um, right after, Susan. And then the jadeite does slip out of the sterling silver here. Ah, oh, so you could wear it either way. Yeah, you can wear it with just the jadeite alone. So you basically got three looks in one there. Yes. I mean, you could slide that over just a regular band, too. That is so pretty. It is very pretty. And I love that lavender jade. And I'll put this one on so you can see what it looks like on a hu human hand. Ooh, very pretty. <laughs> Gorgeous. Those are pretty together, Perlini, turquoise and moonstone. They look very nice together. Yes, they are. The turquoise pulls that color out of the moonstone. It does. <laughs> okay, I guess I could put those away. There's no interest. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody was interested in that one. I'm surprised I mean, as well. You're talking $25 a ring. Well, how about these? There's brooches. Oh, my. The now you got Cindy's attention. I think um, Ro might recognize them. This one's a Coro. It's. <coughs> it's um, it says silver on the back as well. Yeah. That, oh, I do remember that one. You Beautiful said that's a Coro? Yeah. Can you read it? Wow, yes. A Vermeil, a Coro Vermeil, and it's in yeah. good condition. And then I've got a Vandel. It is sterling, but it has 12 karat gold fill over it. Nice. Wow. I really like that one. And I'm starting them out at 20. I looked them up, found out how much they really are worth. 20 for the two of them, honey? Mm-hmm. Oh, good Lord. Oh, yep, Cindy's in there, 25. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> yeah. I heard that I have been buying a lot of jewelry lately, so I feel your pain, Mary. Okay, not you. Oh, I like that. That's lost. Oh, it's such a Does the... Uh, the one on the right, does that one, does it have, it doesn't have a copyright, does it? The Vandale? It does. Hi. It does have a copyright? Okay. Mm -hmm. so I'm guessing it's pretty close to 55 on that and copyright. Then it, and then it has the um, the number that they had to register the piece. So it's got a patent, but not a copyright? Well, it has a copyright up here in the, I can't get it to show very good. Let's see, are you going to focus? Let's see here now. I've gotten it to focus before, but it's not. That's running. okay. Don't worry about it. I was just trying to figure out about how old it is. I would say that it is probably 50s for sure. 
judging by the design too on both of them actually they, they both are gorgeous the coro is beautiful uh -huh. good night mary thank you We've got Cindy in at 25. Are we going to see 26? Are you okay, Sandy? Um, she sounds like she's getting very tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm something that. You breathing okay? Yeah. Has Kent left? Um, yeah. Do you need him to come back? No. Okay. Okay, let's just, we're going once to Cindy. I think Derek has a couple more things to um, auction cool. also. All right. <clears throat> you still have some pieces for you too, right? Um, no, we'll just, we'll just wait on them. Take a bite of cookie. See if that helps, hon. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. Okay. We're going to go two times to Cindy. Kent's having trouble with his restless legs, so he's walking around. Okay. Oh, okay. He's, yeah, he's still here. Uh, he was cramped in his car all day long, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm. That's about six hours of driving, so. Yep. It's fair it's warning, y'all. in the moonlight. So okay. for Cindy for twenty five. Wow, that is insanity that I got those for twelve fifty. <laughs> Both of them, yeah. Yeah. And they're gonna come in this cute little thing. Nice. Oh, cool. They're going right into my collection. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we going. ready to go to Derek? Yes, we're ready to go to Derek. Okay. Do you want G to continue calling? Um, if she would. Oh, I'll do it. <laughs> Don't forget to unmute yourself, oh. Derek. You're muted. <laughs> Actually, he can't even hear me say that, can he? Yeah, we need to cut her nails. Time to cut fingernails. Good night, Mr. Bell. I ate this afternoon, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't here. I was in Salt Lake. Oops. Oops. I didn't do that. Did he fall out? <laughs> he did. He fell out. That is so cute. You know what? That would look fabulous with the stone right in there in that V. All right, here he is again. Again. Okay. All okay. right, go for it. Hello. Call out again. Hello. You're there. Hello. This time, you're on, Hello. Derek. You're on. Do you I'm have for, a I'm, I'm not seeing anybody. I'm seeing you. I'm still seeing you, Sandy. You have a lag. I know. Yeah, I think so it, you go for it. I bounced out, but it was there. So this is a 22-inch necklace with a pendant. Here, you can see. Anyone? Yeah, we can see it. Okay. Um... 
it does not stick to um to any anything it looked like there was i don't know it looked like it was supposed to be a mark on it and they didn't finish it or they didn't whoops there he goes again doggone it maybe he needs to restart his whole system to yeah. reset his internet All right, can you see me? I'm yeah. back. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. This is. Okay. Put your hand behind the pendant. Yeah. So it put does. Your, that. your yep. other hand that way. It don't wiggle around. Okay. Hey, okay, right yep. there. So, that's the pendant. It has a lobster clasp. No mockings on it. But this is leather uh, strapping. Okay, let me see the back of the pendant, please. Sure. Okay. It sure looks like a mark up towards the bale. Yeah, but that's why I thought it was too, but there's nothing there. It looked like they were about to do one. Either it got smudged and they just mixed it in. I don't know. I okay, really, how much do you want to start that one out at? 15. All right. Anybody interested at 15? It's a beautiful piece. It actually looks stainless steel. Like I said, it didn't, a magnet didn't connect to it, so. Yeah. Because a magnet won't connect to stainless steel either. Right. Right. That does look like a Trixie piece. Well, don't you think? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. It's almost um, like he's pulling the jewelry out for Trixie. <laughs> no, it looks like your mom did. I can imagine. There's a nice piece. I mean, I wish it was turquoise. I like turquoise, so but it's not. We got we got Trixie in at fifteen. We're looking for sixteen. Do we have anybody out there brave enough to challenge Trixie? Back right. <laughs> It'll be a nice easy package to send. You know. We've got oh. a Salazar in at sixteen. I do like the way they wrapped that wire around the stone. That's kind of a cool look. Yes, yeah. and that's a curved, a curved pendant, almost like a potato chip, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, the whole thing isn't curved, but the top of it's domed. Yes, very pretty. Still very pretty. So. And in at sixteen with Amanda Salazar. I don't remember my mom or my grandmother wearing this. Um, she could have. I'm not sure. We did go to our Western phase where te technically I wore nothing but uh, cowboy boots and cowboy hats and um, all different. On, on different. Your hip? You have a little pistol on your hip? No, I didn't have a pistol on my head. <laughs> not, allowed, not allowed here. Wish it was, though. Not on the hip. Just wondering. I'm just picturing a little boy with a cowboy hat and some guns on his hip. <laughs> no, I wasn't a little boy. I was all the way through. I did half of my wedding as uh, as West, country and western. Like Opie and Mayberry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. This does kind of have a southwest look to it. Yes. It does. And the fact that it's, it looks like turquoise, you know? Mm hmm. No more takers. Is Amanda going to get this one at 16? Hi, Pamela. Hi, Pam. Hi, Miss Pam. 
Looks like we're going once at 16. Oh, darn it. <laughs> darn it. Ow. Going two times at 16. Is this your last one, Derek, or do you have one oh. more? Two oh, more. Keevan coming in at 17. Oh, Keevan. Is that Mama or Darlene, or is that Evan? Darlene. Keevan, what are you doing? <laughs> I'll make sure that the guys, you have to wear this. If this is Keevan, you have to wear this at work in front of the guys. Uh-oh. Amanda comes back with 18. Looking for 19, 20. Just woke up. How's Miss Darlene feeling? Okay, we're going one time to Amanda again at 18. Yeah. I guess Keevan said in that case, if I got to wear it to work, I don't know about this. <laughs> 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 you know, we could always have you model the jewelry now, Derek. <laughs> it won't fit around my neck. <laughs> you better be careful, Mr. Keevan. You'll get yourself in trouble with these ladies. <laughs> We're going two times. Amanda at 18. Fair warning, Amanda's holding this at 18. Nice piece. I can see Cindy had that sitting in there waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try to be prepared here, occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we're sold to Amanda Salazar at 18. Okay. Congratulations, Miss Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. My mom will be very appreciative. My next piece comes in its case. Um, it is actually Viking jewelry. I like how they spell jewelry. It does have a code number on the back and where it was bought. And this is a brooch that is really heavy. It is... Uh, one and a half inches round, and it will 22.7 uh, grams. But here it is. There is no other markings on it, but it does have the... That really stone. looks like a miracle piece to me, And but you said it's not marked? It is not marked at all on the inside. Beautiful piece. It is a beautiful piece. What are you starting this? Twenty-five. Very Celtic looking. Yep, I even looked. I went with the loop as much best as I could, and looked inside to see if there was anything marked on the anywhere on it. But I'm not seeing a single thing. Sosi comes in at twenty-five. Is that a stone? The piece in the middle, is it stone or what's it made of? It, it's cold, so. Okay, so it's probably a stone. Yeah. That brooch oh. that you fixed for me, Sandy, that looks like it may, that's that kind of 
design is uh, what they make. They're looking like, for 26. Like how it that sits. They're pretty. I mean, it, it looks so much like a like a shield from the Vikings. It you know? does. It does have a Celtic cross in it. You're right, Amanda. Uh huh. Yep. It looks like a Gianna piece. <laughs> <laughs> but I, lo I like the box. The box, I mean, I know it's plastic, but it looks like it, it has the look of Bakelite. I wish it was. <laughs> and it comes with a little Well, cloth. it could be something else. It's worth something, too. You never know. Right. Spell your Lord. Just yeah. never know. <laughs> you never know. I know it's not Amer it's not an American phone number. I know that for sure. So but, yes, so he's taking it at twenty five. We're going one time at twenty five for Sosie. Oh. Nice piece, guys. Almost looks like coral in the middle. For those of you just joining us, these pieces from Derek are going to a good cause. He is selling them for his mother who is has cancer. So he's trying to help her out. Yep. Corner Mara Marble. Oh, that's cool, Lynn. Lynn. Yeah. We're going two times to Sosi. At 25. I'm really shocked that they didn't leave, they didn't mark it. That's what that's what really shocks me about that one, that piece. Fair warning. That happens a lot in jewelry. I don't know why they just don't sign it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Sold to Sosi at 25. Thank Beautiful. you, Sosi. My last piece of the night, guys. I know I showed this the other day. I did a little bit more research on it. This is a 925 bracelet, eight and a half inches long. And this is Italian Lira on, on the chain. Some of it does not, uh, does not get picked up by a magnet. Some of it does, but it is actually 925 stamped on the clock. Hi, Emma, Deb. Uh, Thelma is, it is bone cancer. So, um, but this is, I'm asking $25. And Stop. how long did you say the chain was? Eight and a half inches. Eight and a half inches. So nice long chain. Oh and the chain itself is sterling. It's just the money. Yep. That some of them are not. Right. Exactly. It might be the coin silver, like the 800, but they're not sterling silver. Exactly. I know. Yeah. Coming in at 30. And they're all they're all real pieces of money, correct? Yeah. What they're all money? they're all Italian lira. Most of them are from 1977, 1978. That was just the Italian money back then. We've got our beautiful Thelma Thrift coming in at 33. I knew Miss Thelma was going to like it. This is another thing that sells very quickly when you list it as coin jewelry. We've got Tim okay. coming back with 35. The great piece, guys. Really great. I know I was looking at some of the coins, and some of them are three. Seven dollars each, so and then the bracelet. So, hi, Selma. Hi, 
It does clasp. It's a nice clasp. No, the coins are in great condition. Can you probably um, prop it across the back of your hand and bring it up? So there you go. There you go, everybody. So you can see the coins. Very nice. Kim is still holding at 35. We're looking for 36. I just love the feel of money. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think, isn't it? Uh, Kim is at 35, so it's Stelma's now at 37. Yes, she just popped up on mine with 37. Looking for 38, maybe 40. Kim says she's been looking for one of those. Yeah, well, here's your chance to have one. Kim comes back with 40. And I don't know, she's going to have to fight Thelma for it. Hi, sissy. Thelma is out to Kim. We are going one time to Kim at 40. You could always take a couple of links out. I, I know it is kind of long, but yeah. eight and a half, you may actually be able to wear it as an ankle bracelet, too. But I was just going to say right that would be a marvelous ankle bracelet. <laughs> We've been drinking already. Too much drinking already. <laughs> that was good. That was not me. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering who that was. Yeah. Yes, going two times to Kim at 40. I hope you feel better, Mr. Kent. Oh, I'm getting there. Well, have another one, bartender. Set him up. <laughs> make you feel real good fair warning still holding at kim at 40. yeah, yeah cinnamon's just saying they're not drilled through so they are actually exactly mm -hmm. i think they're 70s perlini she wants to know what the years are on the coins 76 77 78 so probably made in 78. yeah It looks like we are sold to Kim at 40. Congratulations, Kimmy. Yes, congratulations. Enjoy. We want to see pictures. Yep. All right. Are you, uh, is that it now, Derek? That's it. Yes, okay. ma'am. Ooh, so, mom. I just oh, wanted to show you guys. Um, let me hit the camera and get this focused. These are um, these are pin pendants here. This one's a pendant. This one can be anything, pendant or a pin. This ring is a size five and a half. This is a nine, and this is a ten. So if any of you guys are interested in any of this, let me know afterwards. I'm not, uh, I'm just not feeling real great. So we're going to call it a night. So I want to thank you all for coming in and sharing part of your Friday evening with us. And let me get everybody up there. Maybe. There we go. And uh, what are you? Yeah, just a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to lay down. Oh, well, she's in bed already. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> when we're done here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, follow us over to Steels and Deals and Jewelry Nurse. We're gonna do a quick preview for Rose um auction items for Saturday.
You know what? I just realized Kathy's not here. Kathy B? Yeah. Or L. All right, guys. Um, we are going to call it a night. So, Cindy from Virginia Beach. And Gianna. West Wendover, Nevada. Miss Trixie. Tucson, Arizona. Kent. Sandy's house. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be in Farron, Utah. So, guys, I, I love you and appreciate you. Thank you for spending time with us tonight. And remember, don't just make a wish, make it happen in your life. Yes. See you guys later. Good night. Uh, when your legs are straighter. <laughs> <laughs>